All right, I'm in Macomb here, and I got a sump line, I suppose. People are thinking that they have an issue with it. Well, we're gonna find out. All right, so first off, we do have Schedule 30 pipe, and that's always a no-no. But back then, that's what they did, right? What are you gonna do? I'm in the pipe, so when we go down, and we'll lay it flat, if I can. Now I'm gonna zero it out. Now I'm gonna push it. Ooh. Um, goes a foot. And then it turns. Uh, some seeing you know bro broken pipe and it's bad but it goes to a Y it's broken here a foot there there's a Y because behind us is a line and that very well may be the uh, uh, maybe the sump line behind me I'm going to locate the spot. So give me one hot second. I'm going to run back to my truck. Seconds are always longer than a regular second. <laughs> okay. Right now, I'm attempting to locate that Y. Two point three. Okay. Now, so this line here runs into this line here. Okay. Behind me, there's another one. But I can't make this turn, can I? Ooh, I did. All right. Now, as you see, let me get rid of this for a second here. The bottom of it it's the schedule 30 that's a bummer sorry guys it's horrible pipe back when they put these in you could see the imperfections uh, the ground it's like broken pushing all the the roots underneath and pushing up on it this pipe you can you can uh, uh, drive a truck over and break it shatter it like glass but what we put in the ground well, you get a 25-year warranty on that PVC piping because you could run a truck over it and it doesn't break. All right, let me find well, where that is. Two more seconds. But they're not going to be hot. So my Y is right here. I'm still bouncing here. Oh, well, I'm not going to be able to do it without put, making the video. Camera 
this turn to do brings in another line come on baby light my fire <laughs> see that real quick 18 let's go to 20 because that's what's happening the, uh, wow shards up uh, build up in there big time beach way to, to 20 feet gotta make the screen goofy excuse me the rust, do 20 feet, and jet the rust. See that scale build up. This pipe, if the roots were growing by it, it would push into the pipe and leave an indentation. I just need to see if we can get this pushed out. got some more water and here's another issue here this thing see we need to that's where is that pipe Jesus cramity keep pushing because this pipe looks good it looks like I can tie onto this it doesn't look broken it looks like you got a ring around the tub up there um, but, heck I might be in the main Worse, your worst problem is 20 feet away. This, connect, the Y connected uh, for the sub pump in the unit next door is 
I'd imagine that's what that is. And then, you know, you got a little belly. What is that there? Coming in the side here. Let me get rid of this. Sorry. What is that? What is that? Just some uh, more of that stuff. Like when when I when I do the repair, I'll jet the rest of it, and it'll knock all that stuff down. That thing I was pushing. It's like ground coming out of the groundwater and stuff like that. I'd, I'd imagine you notice how it's coming in at the seam, and and it's from the calcium. And our groundwater is not it happens very people not everywhere but to a lot of people well let's just keep pushing seems that I'm in here because this looks really good this pipe gotta, you ain't got a little belly here or there when the water goes up like that that's because the pipe may be sinking a little bit in that spot but that's 63 feet away it's a belly and then we, we gotta find out where you end up where you come out at you might come out in that wooded area. We'll have to locate that. We can tie onto this pipe. And then I can locate that other pipe back. But this pipe here looks beautiful. I mean, you can change it if you want. I guess make it all schedule 40. But for future nightmares maybe. I mean that's like a I, mean, I wouldn't even call that broken you know, that, this shit here would, I'll, I'll get that's where we'll blow all that out because this pipe this part looks good I'll blow all that out with my jet but the first 20 feet with a Y, that, that, that's just the thing that would go on the line that would pick up the neighbor's sub pump discharge line. We got them moving too, because their pipe goes through this, which is, I'm surprised they're not having it. Now see, that drop was near to me. See, I don't like any of this. This is the Y to the neighbor's yard. And then coming backwards is your personal run to this condo. And that's what we need to do. So it's going to be the... I would do the Y. I would do this Y. Get rid of this Y here. I cut on both sides and we do our uh, strong back connections. You'd be very happy. Embed it with crushed stone. Schedule 40. This line will be tight. And then jet out the rest of it and push all that debris out into the main and find where that actual ending part is. I, I'm very interested in that. So, but if I can get you operating, that's what we're going to do. All right. We'll pull back through it. That way you can at least get another view of what you're looking at here. Because... And yeah, the rut's pushing from below, pushing up. The pipe's breaking on the bottom. It's full of that scaly stuff. It's like calcium. It builds and builds. And build. This pipe looks half or a quarter full of it. Because I'd never get my camera down to that. This is actually one of the better ones, believe it or not. There's a hole. That's a hole. Ooh, I'm lucky I didn't drop in it. Oh, there's another. Oh, okay, cool. So we, we see what we need to do. And then it turns up into this here, 20 feet. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right. That's what I wanted to see. All right, thank you so much. And I'll talk to you in a minute. Thanks, bye.